I, I have some shit I have to cover on. And, like, there's something I don't even want to fucking do. I just, you know, I like to do something called clickbait. And recently in the news, um, there's been, you know, all sorts of, like, channels that are, like, what we would call... the right wing universe all right and they have these live streams or you know it doesn't even have to be that okay there's a universe out here that has collided okay and uh it happened in the most likely causes okay two fucking families minnesota style families uh they are content creators they were streaming streaming okay they're you know one of them's a lawyer channel i don't know if you guys know who this fucking piece of shit is let me see if i can do like some type of instagram I'm only really here for the features, the face, okay? It's actually outrageous how much, what we're going to be dealing with, what I'm about to put you guys through. It's not going to be very long, though. We're, we're spending seconds on this. Seconds. Um, this person's name is, yeah, LawTube. They, 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 most of them got big during the pandemic when people had nothing to do, okay? You know, the first thing you want to do is, uh, you know, watch somebody do court shit. <laughs> It's definitely like sleeper type of content. Now, in fact, a mushroom knows what I'm talking about. Um, but this is the guy. He's got what we would call a big time problem. A big time cocaine problem. His name is Nicholas Riquet. Look at this fucking nose, man. Now, new evidence has come out. Fresh new evidence. Nobody's even thought about it happening. But i making a lot of allegations. Uh, this is the guy we're dealing with. He has what we would call nothing going on up here. A bunch of disgusting hairs. You know, he's got the uh, devil's peak. Uh, the What we would call the filled-in v-neck. He's got Dracula's hair. Okay? It makes me sick. I hate a rec uh, Not a receding. It's the, you know, it's the opposite. Usually when it recedes, it goes back. He's got too much of a hairline. So much so that it's the arrowhead. The widow's peak. Now... Usually that means that the wife is dead, right? I don't know if that's the actual, you know, the foreshadowing thing that happens whenever somebody's been stricken with what we would call the prophecy. The the There's things out here that you'd see in the Bible, okay, or whatever. You know, if you believe in that shit, the prophecy, okay, a forecoming event. Um, I think the widow widow's peak is definitely enough to, you know, enough evidence to show that, like, you know, it's not going to look good, okay? His wife might not make it, but this guy's a lawyer guy on fucking YouTube. Uh, recently, he had some fun, okay? Well, I guess he's been having fun. You know, doing his stream, doing cocaine, having a good time, okay? People ruining, you know, his vibe. This is him right here. He looks like this. He's got all this shit behind him. He's a rumble guy. He's a drinker. He likes the sauce. But he got in cahoots with this uh, channel. Here, we'll just like just do a little bit of a uh, background of this. I can't even believe I'm doing this. This is all for the title, the clickbait, the thumbnail. You know, and it's trying to branch out into new territories. Will I stay here? No. But it's a trending topic. So Nick Riccada is better known as an online, well, better known online as Riccada at Law. Now, I don't know if that's... Hey, I just like to call it Riccada. I don't know if it's rac Racketeer, Racketeering. Uh, he's an American YouTuber who's uh, who makes comedic yet informative videos about legal, legal topics while drinking heavy amounts of alcohol, which is always like a recipe for karaoke, if you know what I fucking mean. Uh, he's a lawyer in Minnesota, the owner of Riccada Law who discusses legal topics and breaks lawsuits. Uh, he analyzes law cases and also reacts to them. So it's fucking like, I'm talking, this shit's going to put you to sleep. I could not imagine, like, just this is like the shit that's showing up in my feed. Which it is kind of like, I'm going to have to do some cleanup later on. After I watch this, I'm going to have to, like, you know, scrub everything so I don't have this shit popping up on my For You page. I got to get away from it. I can't have, like, fucking crap like this showing up. This isn't entertainment to me. But there is a whole drama b behind, you know, this, you know, thing that happened with him recently. Which is, uh, I guess, fun. So he's just famous for doing these law things. Uh, you know, he did, like, he was, I think he covered the Johnny Depp trial. I think he was, like, uh, he was a part of, like, that whole thing that happened with the kid with the gun. The Rittenhouse case. He covered that. 
And it kind of like masked him a pretty big following on YouTube. Recently, he was hanging out with a couple. They're called Steel Toe Radio Morning Show. Okay, and this show looks a lot like this. It's a guy and a gal, husband and wife, sitting in front of their shitty-ass Logitech camera doing a morning and an evening show for dollars. They don't have a big following. They're very, very small. You'd actually never probably find any of this shit. Now I've ruined your fucking algorithm. I think that anything I talk about on this show, if you're watching it, it will pop up. It's going to fucking pop up. Rumor has... Uh, and that's not what I wanted. And it's really hard to find anything on here. I was just trying to find just any type of clip of this Nick Ricada guy. Because recently he was doing his live stream. Nodding out. Completely high as fuck on cocaine. Definitely more so I think he was a heroin addict. I mean, if you're a drug addict, you're doing it all. I mean, it's nothing's better than a good speed ball, as they would say. If you're going to be a drug addict, be a good one. But this is... uh. The channel I'm talking about right here, this is the couple at hand. Um, I guess I could just go to this. I don't Guys, know we have three. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is the channel. It's just, uh, you know, a radio show. It's not, it's not really radio. It's, it's some guy that I guess wanted to be a radio guy. Maybe had like his seconds of radio time. But his wife, she's only fucking 21, allegedly. Maybe 19, but she has what we call so much sausage up here. Now, girls, would you ever, you know, I know that like a lot of the audience is some gals. Would you ever have this type of contraption going on up here? Is this the hairstyle you're into? No fucking way. I don't like this shit. These slender brows. These are disgusting, like guitar string type of width. She's got these working or walking type of like shadows under her eyes. Okay, and uh, they're, you know, they make me sick. So they just do like a lot of like Fox News coverage. They're right wing. They love Trump. And they got in cahoots with this guy, Nick Ricada. Now, I hate having this pulled up. I was trying to find like anything I could that would like give me just a rundown of it. Like a quick clip rundown situation. Like just to kind of. Do a quick uh, coverage of it. But it just keeps showing these long, long fucking videos. Or here we What's go. Here's on, the, I, I'm not watching you. You're not getting my fucking view. The quartering, no fucking way. Uh, Infected Mushroom says it was all downhill after the hot tub videos. So pretty much this channel and this guy right here, Nick, Rick, fuck, Nick Ricada. This is the guy. Now the drugs have actually made him look the coolest ever. Like not a lot of times can you look like some type of like rodent person. But when you get that chance to, like, you know, be able to change yourself completely with a couple, you know, years of drugs, it's a good look, right? I mean, you can't give that up. You've, you've actually moved on to a different look. you got to stick with it. You know, they've made movies about it. Face Off. You know, all it takes is some cocaine, some methamphetamines. There's probably a lot more drugs involved with this whole situation than just cocaine. Nobody does cocaine, right? I mean, it, people do, but it's, it's not really it's a waste of time waste of cash you can have uh you make your money last a little bit longer stretch a little bit longer with amphetamines right that is the white trash drug but this channel steel toe and him they got together they started doing content together they were doing hot tub streams hanging out in water disgusting and this nick ricada guy he's actually some type of swinger he likes to swing so whenever, you know, all these other channels were covering them, there was a lot of, like, channels covering the Steel Toe show because it's so cringe. You know, Red Bar's gone over it, Pot Awful, really destroyed it, and, uh, you know, every other fucking channel, all these, like, Dabbleverse channels have gone over this filth. And they're just really cringe. Thanks, let's I, mean, get I mean, who the fuck, wa who would watch this shit? This guy's, uh, this is a coach guy. He's a, he wears coach attire. I hate whenever I see somebody like the only type of clothes they wear. It's like the, it's the, what's that guy, the comedian? Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis has a uh, coach's clothing. Anytime you see Shane Gillis, he's covered with the infection of the collared shirt with the college team on it. Now, of course, I won't be able to fucking find anything of an example because it's, you know, anytime you want to look for anything, you can't fucking find it. But anytime I see Shane Gillis, we could probably just go to his Instagram real quick. 
to give you an idea of how disgusting uh, sports clothes are, okay? Like in the form of uh, coaches wear. Shane Gillis. America's number one. It's our biggest guy in comedy. But he's always wearing these disgusting fits. Some type of college team. Look at this, folks. Now, have we seen this before? I have the same piece right here. Same Versace's. Spread the word. And it doesn't look good. Like, when somebody wears Versace's, that's not me, okay? Or, like, a brother. Like, I don't think Versace's is really, like, a good look on, like, white people. Just because, like, you know, look at the skin. You gotta have a tan, man. You gotta have a tan. Shane can't get a fucking tan. He has zits under his mustache. He's got pathetic goatee. High school style, like, fucking, you know, puberty going on in his fucking face. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, he'd just be wearing shit like this. The sports attires. Eagles. Fuck that. Anywho, this channel got together. They were eventually started swinging together, having sex, doing cocaine. Uh, long story short, this girl, Lila Hart, came in, okay? Looking like a fucking monster. No, I'm just kidding. I kind of wanted to fucking, you know, talk about her, catch up with her after this. She's a fun look. But this channel and this Nick Riccata got together. They started having sex with each other, sharing wives. The wives, you know, decided to switch places and fall in love with the other guys. Vice versa. And he ended up being super high. I, I don't know where the fuck I could find this video. It's so tough to find anything. Uh, Nick Riccata high on stream. It's, you know, I was trying to fucking look this up earlier. I kept getting like live streams are like hours and hours long. So let's see if we can find like just a filter this by clip or short video. It just has video. Um, lat this week. Let's see if we can find some. And look at how many channels have covered this shit. Is this it? No. Okay. Well, maybe this well, guy has like a small clip of him nodding out on stream, and then he starts like the first thing you do usually. You know, when you're on stream nodding out, I guess, is jacking off. He starts to J-O at the end. Now, it doesn't show anything, but he's, like, going back and forth. I can't fucking find it. Folks, I can't find it. That's it. All right, that's all I wanted to do. I just want to do a little bit of clickbait. This shit's, like, really boring. It's not really a good time. Here's something right here. I'm just I'm going to give it one more shot, look down a little bit further, see if I can find... Uh, any clip of him on his stream. So apparently him being fucked up on his stream caused uh, a lot of controversy and they got busted. Okay. Not the steel toe guy, but this lady got divorced with him. Okay. It actually, all the trolls actually caused a divorce. Like you'd be surprised the power of a troll on the internet. The trolls went after these people so much that caused them to split. She went and moved in with this Ricada guy. Um, they were getting high, getting fucked up, having a good time. And after the stream where this Nick guy was fucked up, the here it is right here. This is it. I'm gonna need this. Oh, I don't need. Four twenty says upper still in him. That's keeping him up. He didn't do a very good job. I literally fell asleep on stream. How dare I? How dare I? Guys, let me. You can't. Cohen is looking for. Okay, whatever. He's fucked up. Doesn't fucking matter. I mean, if you want to look through, it, look for it, you can. But it's pretty cool. I like drama. Whenever people divorce each other, then like you know, the husband loses his girlfriend, and the girlfriend goes and stays. They have cops come and bust them. Okay, the steel toe guy's wife and the Nick Riccata and his wife are in jail now, and they're finished. Hopefully, they get the electric chair or fucking bullet in the head. Let's move on. 